This is one of the best mods in Car Mechanic Simulator. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download the Quality of Life mod, which adds a bunch of useful abilities into the game, and I'm also going to cover some of the key features. Now, there has been some videos about this mod, and all of them are great, but the main one was by Hearst Quasar, which is actually how I found out about this mod. But there's been some small changes in how you download it, so I'm just going to do an updated guide since I actually just installed this to my computer a few, say a week ago. So I just wanted to do an updated guide. So let's get into it. All right, the first thing that I recommend that you do is that you back up your game files. It's not mandatory, but just in case anything goes wrong while you're installing this mod, at least you'll have your backed up game files so you won't lose anything. All right, so where you're gonna find this mod is on nexusmods.com slash car mechanic simulator 2021 and to get this mod you're gonna need to create an account with them but it's free so it's not that big of a deal once you create your account and you're on this page to locate the mod all you have to do is scroll down popular and then of all time click on that and it should bring you basically all the best mods or all the most downloaded mods as you can see, the quality of life mod is right here. It's number three. You're just gonna click on that. Okay, once this opens, you get to see a full rundown of what the mod includes. Five extra parking spots, enhanced car editor, car lights, um, authentic car brands and logos, more photo locations. Let's see, you can automatically unmark finished parts as you install them which is great so yeah this is just a full rundown of what you're going to get okay so now to install it what you're going to want to do is you're going to install melon loader right there and you're going to click on the automatic or automated installation and as you can see download it right down there we're going to open it so the thing that changed between my video and quasars is that the latest box right here is at 6.1 you need to uncheck that now and scroll down to 5.7 for melon loader to install properly and then auto detect this is fine just make sure that your version is on 5.7 instead of uh 6.1 now for unity game you're gonna need to select where your car mechanics uh file is so for me, it's in uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Car Mechanic Simulator. Then right here is the file that you're gonna need to place in there. It might be in a different location for you. This is just where mine is. Then you're gonna open and install. As you can see, if you actually, for whatever reason, don't want the mod anymore, this is actually how you uninstall it as well. You just get rid of Melon Loader right here, and then you can load up your game perfectly normal if you want to uninstall the mod okay so after you do that you're gonna go back to nexus mods where you need to download a zip folder or zip file which is right here click on that and then you're gonna go manual download right here on uh underneath main files and then you're just gonna click slow download once that's done you're gonna want to locate where that file went to for me, it should be somewhere in here. Right here, I have two of them. So once you get the file, so once you find this file, you're gonna click on it and copy and paste the two uh, files that are inside of them, or inside of it. And then what you're gonna do with those uh, files is you're gonna go back to where your car mechanic simulator game is. Common, car mechanic simulator. And you're gonna notice there's gonna be a mods folder. You're gonna copy and paste those two files in here for you it'll be empty but since i already have the mod installed i have them in here already and once you do that you should be good to launch your game all right once you launch your game there is going to be this screen that pops up it's completely normal that's fine and you'll see melon loader load up it might take a little bit longer but one thing that you'll also notice is that it's gonna skip all the intros for the game so i'm not clicking enter here it's just naturally loading me in, which is really nice. Instead of me having to wait and click enter a bunch of times. 
All right, now that we've loaded in, we can go check out outside. And as you guys saw when we were loading in, you could see that we have a bunch more parking spots out here, which honestly, the game should have came with. I don't understand how you can own this huge gas station and only have three parking sites or three parking spots out front. A little bit ridiculous. So let's get into how to actually swap these cars out. These three cars or these two cars over here, you can just do it normally if you want to move them anywhere. But when it comes to the extra cars, like this car right here, you'll actually need to go to your parking and swap it out. So that's where these five extra cars are uh, taken from. They're taken from your parking alley. So for example, if I want the Do my Dodge Viper here, I'm gonna click swap, and then I'm gonna replace the Chevy Bel Air with the Dodge Viper. Let's do that. You'll see just like that, now we have our Dodge Viper here at the uh, garage. And the Chevy Bel Air is back at the parking alley. So again, this is just something that sh the game should have launched with. It makes it look a lot more, um, I'm trying to think of the word. It's just, it just looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing seeing more vehicles out here rather than just the normal three out front. And there is a way to add I believe it's up to 10 vehicles out in this lot, which is really cool. But I'll show you that later in the video because it has something to do with the config folder. All right, another thing that's changed is that the engine hoist, which was located in this corner right here, has been moved and relocated all the way over here, which makes a lot more sen uh, sense to have the engine hoist right next to the engine stand, at least in my opinion. So it's easier to not really easier to access but it just makes more sense to me so that's one thing and over here at the brake lathe you'll see that you can now god damn it let me go find a car what i'm searching for is this back drum you just snatch this real quick so with this mod installed, now you're able to actually use this brake lathe with the drums before you weren't able to. So now you can reuse the old drums that you find instead of having to buy new ones every time, which I think is pretty cool. It makes sense. I don't know why, again, that this didn't launch with the uh, base game, but it's whatever. Okay, now we're going to move to the paint booth. Now there's a decent amount of new things to show you with the paint booth. One is that you're now able to paint parts like the drums. Let me grab them real quick. Where is my brake drum? So before you were not able to really paint brake drums, as you can see, I have black selected, it's not moving. With this new update, when you go over to this little uh, drop right here, you can go to paint target, you select everything, as you can see, fueled by QOL mod, you could select whatever color you want but that's not all you can also do what material that you want to replace so if you want to make it fully paintable you can see how the scratches kind of went away all these scratches gone okay so you have fully paintable and you have fully paintable 2 which just changes kind of the um texture i guess and then fully paintable 3 which you can kind of see these little marks in it now which is cool and you can get carbon fiber if, if you want that. Um, carbon fiber, it's just a smaller kind of, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but it's not as large as the first one. And then the third one, it's kind of hard to see, which is a lot more fine. Then we have chrome plated, chrome, aluminum, which is pretty dope. Steel black, which is kind of just black or matte black. Red, white, wood. I don't know why that's here. I mean, I guess I could see why wood's here. There's probably some parts in the game. Leather, which is interesting. No clue what the hell that is. And then you have glass, which I'm excited about. I have a video planned to do on a... Uh, or I have a video idea, I should say, revolving around glass. Cause look how cool that looks. I believe that's the last one. So let's go to paint 
fully and then you could see here you could change it to whatever color you want purple let's see if we go um purple can we select yeah you can go to metallic now you could do whatever you want really so we're gonna go with a chrome green because why not let's actually which one do i like better Hmm. We'll do this green. It doesn't really matter. Now let's go throw that onto that car. Then right here, just select it and throw it on there. As you can see, that's pretty cool. And you could do whatever you really want. I believe I did chrome. This is the car that I just built with this mod. And as you can see, I did chrome drums on this one. So it really fits the car. But there is more that you can paint. Let me uh, grab a seat out of here for these two seats. What else? Is there anything else that I need from this car? Can I please get out of that menu? Seats. No. I believe that's it. Let me show you that you can now actually paint seats also. So if you want them to match with the car or whatever. Actually, I'm an idiot. I still need to get seats in that car. In the orange car outside. So let me get rid of you. You are no longer needed. Seven grand down the drain. Let me bring that orange car in. As you can see, I still need to place the right seats and uh, steering wheel in here. This is a better example to show you that you can paint different sections of the seat. If you want everything painted like you did on the drum, you could do that. You could do a mix. See, it's leaving the gray of the original seat. That is weird. I don't like gloss. Solid looks a little bit better. So if you want to do black or blue or something like that, you can do that. Let's see, pearl, okay. I want to do is I'm going to go to mix two, which leaves this black mostly. And I'm going to get this orange that goes with the car. And let me just grab it in pearl. I think that looks pretty nice. And as you can see, once I went to fully paintable, it just absolutely changed that. That looks great. I don't know about that. Mm, I don't know about that. It does still look good. That looks a little bit better. Kind of has a different texture. I think this just looks a little bit like that. Look, if you sat on that, that looks like it would hurt. It looks very uncomfortable. But this kind of has a uh, more of a fabricy look to it. So I'm gonna go with this. One thing that I also mentioned, let me just show you all the mix. So target three, you'll target this main area. Mix four will target the base of the seat and the little uh, seat belt connector. And then you have paint everything again. <laughs> this just looks weird. All right. I wonder if I can make this glass. Yeah, okay. If you want, you could have a glass seat. That sounds very safe. Uh, I'll grab a different steering wheel later. So as you can see, you could just grab something that looks a lot, or matching, I should say, with the seats now. You can make them so they match your car's look. Mm, I'm a little bit iffy on those. I might change them later. But a, another thing that you can paint, which you couldn't before, is tires. You can now get the lettering of the tires to be a different color, which again is amazing if you plan on having a car that just is matching for the most part you can see i'm gonna select that orange you do everything like that or you could do everything like that and have goddamn orange donut Let's see you could have a carbon fiber tire Ooh, that actually kind of looks cool oh it's just the walls okay i go fully or fully paintable. Yeah, it changes everything. All right. Let's see. Chrome plated. You could have chrome tires. Oh, jeez. Chrome white walls, kind of. Black steel. Black steel looks kind of cool. Kind of looks tough on this. You probably make some nice drag tires. Like custom drag tires. If you wanted to. Wood. Yep. Okay. 
So mix one will allow you to do the walls. I don't know what mix two does. And then the other one's just everything again. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna go fully. We're not gonna go fully painted. Okay, so just like that, you can see that the tire now has that orange on it. You can install it to your car. It just looks, depending on a car, it could look better if you want to do a, just a different color for your tires. That does actually look pretty nice. But I think that's a little bit too much orange for the car that I'm going with. I'm just getting this one on the car just to give you guys an example. I don't want to have too much orange on this, even though there is a lot of it already. Just picked a random rim. Just to give you guys kind of an example of how it would look. So if you want to do something different, a different color to match your car or to kind of contrast your car, you can completely do that with this mod. Okay, let me go into something that's actually really helpful in like your just common game. If you're brand new to the game, this will still be helpful. And that is when you go and select the part or uh, put it on your um, list. Let me get rid of this one real quick. So I'm gonna select the hood, and as you can see, it's on the list. I'm gonna go grab that hood, and what you'll notice, oh, where are we? So I'm gonna grab that hood, and you're gonna notice that that part is now gone from the list. So when you go and uh, buy the actual part that you need, it'll now remove it from the list, which is super helpful if you're in like beginning game or just or any part of the game that you're in. It'll, it's just super helpful to have. So you don't have to keep on clearing the list. If you're doing multiple cars, you won't have to just keep on clearing and clearing every few minutes. So that's super helpful. There's definitely been so many times when I just have a full list, like maxed out and it, I delete it. And then there's still parts on there that I need that I forgot to grab and I skipped over them. So having this system in place, just a lifesaver in my opinion. Next up is something that's I just really like, and that is there's a new system for the warehouse. So when you place something in the warehouse, for example, as you can see, I stock up on parts. Just because I don't want to continuously go back to the uh, store and have to buy them and buy them, because you're always going to need more catalytic converters and all that. But now, as you can see with all those check marks, when you throw one of those catalytic converters into your storage, and when you look now in your inventory, you'll see this little white or green check mark. What that means is that you have a catalytic converter in your warehouse already. So now it allows you to uh, kind of take inventory of what you have and what you don't have. And something that's cool is that if you have a part that is, um, let's see. What can I use? What can I use? don't have any parts that are uh, torn up. Anyway, if you have, say, a this bench seat, if you place that in there and then you have another fresh one, when you come to your inventory, the check mark that you see will be red to indicate the condition of the part. So that check mark, mark will turn to red, or if it's in uh, orange, it'll turn to orange. If it's in yellow, it'll turn to yellow. So it just allows you to organize yourself way better. So you don't have to constantly carry all these, at least for me, all these exhaust pieces on your person. You could just throw them into the warehouse and know that when you need them, you just go in there and grab a few. Okay, so the next thing that I actually wanna show you is in your folder, and that is how you get, um, how you get the extra car, how you uh, load in the mod menu and all that type of stuff. So what you're gonna do to get that is you need to get, um, you need to go into the config folder, which you could find in um, in the mods folder and in the uh, QOL mod. And then you'll see right over here, you'll see the config settings or mod, whatever. You're gonna click on that one and this screen will pop up. Basically, this is all the configurations for the mod. So if you want to turn something off, all you have to do is replace true with false. For example, if you don't want the warehouse helper icon, which I believe is the um, 
green check mark, you could turn this to false, and that will no longer appear. Now, none of these are really too important. When you get this mod, you can go through it by yourself and see what you want on. The one that I want to show you is... Okay, it's right here. Amount extra cars enabled. So, you can have five cars. That's the cars that are parked outside in the parking lot or uh, around the uh, gas station, the extra ones. You could turn this up to, I believe 10. But if you do this, I will warn that if you don't have a strong PC or whatever, it will make your game lag a lot. Mine with five is lagging. I don't know if that's because I have things open in the background, uh, OBS open and all that. So just, you just do your own testing to see how many you can safely have on your, uh, on your computer without it crashing your game. So you would just change this number to six, seven, whatever you want. The next thing is, um, add debug option on pause menu. So this is basically like a cheat menu or a mod menu. So I'm going to turn this to true to show you guys what it's like and how it affects and what effect it has in game. Okay, let me edit that. I believe we are good. So now I'm going to X out of this and start back up my car mechanic simulator. All right, like I said before, if you turn the number up for amount of cars that you want of extra parking, I believe there's one that spawns over here and there would be a, a line over here. I believe you can fit like four more cars right here. So that's where the extra cars would go. Okay, so for the debug menu, all you have to do is go right here onto your menu and you'll see it listed right there when you enable it and turn that script into true instead of false. And you see here all your options. You can toggle fly cam, save name if you want to change whatever name you have. You could change your difficulty, transport. You could transport to different locations. Uh, you could have your FPS showing, load Halloween, you could load different uh, different holidays, remove doors and gates, all things like that. It just allows you to move your speed up to two, add barns to your uh, map, add scrap, money, XP, whatever you want. You can unlock all your upgrades. It's basically just a mod menu for whatever you want. Whatever you need in the game, this is how you would get it. Just be careful that you don't mess anything up, I guess. I personally am not gonna really mess with this, but if you guys want to, if you guys want a bunch of money so you can buy whatever cars you want, or you want scrap so you could three-star engines, this would be the way that you can get it easily. So I just wanted to show you this also. Another cool feature of this mod is that it gives you more camera angles. And one of my favorite angles that it gives you now is when you're dynoing a car, as you can see, the chart is tr not transparent, but it's not fully, it's see-through. So you can see the car behind it now. And when you start the test, you'll see when it revs up, you'll see the tire spin now. Which is super cool because before you were just staring at this chart. Now you can actually watch the car do its dyno, which is, again, just more entertaining. It really is the small details that make these games great. So having this implemented is, again, another plus. Now that's not the only camera angle. When you return back from say the junkyard, the auction house, there's different um, camera angles for you when you load in, depending on where you're standing in your garage when you left. So let's see which one it gives me now. See, mine's just a little bit laggy because I have a bunch of things open. But as you can see, it throws me back to where I was in that kind of uh, almost like GTA-esque style, which I love. It's way better than just the uh, dip to black and then popping up wherever you were. I love that you spawn in the sky and you get a full overview of your um, of your garage. I think that's really cool. Also, what a cool parking spot this is to have it on the back of the uh, tow truck. I think that's dope. Okay, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.